So what we got going on here, Dick? Uh, hey, doing well? Good. Yeah, this is our uh, donor snow blower to. Uh, so now what's we're taking uh, the reel off? What's our first step? Take the bolts off the outside of the reel there. Take the yeah, the pillow blocks off and uh -huh. the one on top. Okay. And here, there, and there. Yeah, and those. And then yeah. it should just come right out. Okay. It's not coming That's, off. Yeah, that one's on there pretty good. I've got a. I don't know if they have a I've, wants I've got an hold. impact camera out uh, or uh, thing out in the car. I didn't bring my uh, socket. Uh, This gap should be over on this side. This is so tight that it's actually rubbing on the uh, so these should be same distance on both sides? Uh, actually, there should be a bigger gap on this side than this okay. side. Okay. So, uh, what causes that to be screwed up? Uh, whoever put it back together again. <laughs> oh, okay. Put it in backwards. Okay, okay. Gotcha. So, yeah. You gotta uh, take one of these guys off. Probably should put this back down on the floor if we got a wrench. There's a couple of washers that. Okay, they should nestle on each other like that. This spacer fits in there to hold them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all together. Mm -hmm. And that, when we've got the shaft off, like there's one side of the shaft that's longer than the other with the threading. This should just slide right off. And the augers can only go back on one way. Okay. That one looks good too. The clutch material is really nice shape. It's nice and flat. And the corresponding... Well, I guess I didn't get that one off yet. And then that's the corresponding clutch face, which is also okay. nice and flat. And okay. Yeah, I didn't realize the clutches were on the uh, orders like that. I didn't know. Yeah, that's for, that that's that. to save the worm gear. Mm -hmm. Who's on cleaning detail? Oh, you still me so. I believe it actually makes the job easier. Yeah, these gearboxes are real easy. There's four bolts on the front plate, which comes off, and then three bolts on the side. A little tap from behind. There's a gasket in here, so as you're coming off, that you can look for it. If you don't destroy it, it's one less thing you have to make yep. for them. What did you uh, give a little pop with your hand on the Just shaft? push the back. Yeah. That brought it out. yeah. Uh, nasty oil it hasn't been changed in a while. At least it looks like it's oil and not grease. Mm -hmm. Now with the oil, I know there's special oil, right? What's yeah. what's that oil that you use in there? It's made for gear oil. It's like a 700 AG, whatever that. Does not eat bronze. Is that what it is? It's what? Doesn't eat bronze or brass uh, or what? Most of the or? new oils like that. Anything that's made for a worm gear will not eat bronze. The okay. old one was, I think, GL5, I mm -hmm. believe, was the old gear oil one. I see. But yeah. this cap's got a little slot in them. I just. Uh, 
Reed's has one that's got a 45 degree, which is great because uh, this is basically you got to put it in vertical so the oil comes in here, goes okay. into the bearing, and drains yep. out the bottom. You put it in sideways, no it'll no. still get some oil, but it's yeah. the one with the 45, you can put it in backwards and it's still right. And there's a little neat Torrington needle bearing in here. You check those when you pull it apart so that they're frozen up. Here. It does feel good. Okay, you need to take the cap off to get the work. Uh, I guess the big one they really call it a worm wheel, not a worm gear, but you know, they call this the worm gear. These are super simple to work on. Is if you find one with a smaller diameter and wider than you need, there's one of the thrust bearings. You can say it's a very simple gearbox. It's to the right of the oil shank. Let's get the worst. Working the worm. There's another. There's a. There's several different versions of the what they have in there for thrust washers. Most of the all the newer ones have one on each side, and some of the older ones will have one on this side and a thrust bearing, which is two little thrust washers with a radial bearing. And. Uh, And there's the, the money. Here's the gold. Yeah. Now this gear is actually in very nice shape. Yeah. You'll see a little bit of the wear. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is the back side. This is the side that's got the wear. The worm gear literally pushes the gear forward. And if you notice, this is sort of off-centered, or this is longer than this side. This critical when you put it back together again and uh, there's just a key in the middle of it and that's just held on by the thrust washers and this kind of floats. So that's the $150 gear? This little yeah. thing here, yeah. And I'll show you one later that if you don't have the right lube in there what they can look like. This guy... Typically, you don't have to replace these seals. These are harder to find. It's a weird size. It's got a small shaft with a big shaft. And if at all possible, leave them alone. If it's really corroded, you want to polish this before you push it out more just to save the seal. But, uh... Hopefully all the thrust bearings and everything come out with it. Nope. I can see another one there. Another. I think you're gathering a crowd. Either your pants are falling down or you're doing something. I hope my pants are. Any particular crowd? It's got a thrust washer, radial bearing, and another thrust washer. And then there's a, uh, I guess it's like a holder for it all. But this is what takes all the force is the gear is pushing forward and it's pushing against the back here and that and there's a bronze uh, washer on the front which many times they don't come off and if they don't I just leave them on. So that like a bushing? It just is like if you let off the throttle and it's kind of like you know engine braking it'll push against the front here. And if it's really worn, you'll sometimes get a little slop in your gearbox, and it's more just a thrust. It's not really a big deal. You can pull these off and actually flip them 180 degrees. And this is actually a hardware store item. You can find bronze bushings. But, uh... Typically when I get these apart, then I just take them to a part, you know, just some solvent, clean the crap out of it, and uh, sometimes this gear, I'm not going to ex expect to find much, but uh, you should sometimes find little bits of brass in the bottom of the, 
find any or not. This gear looks really nice, which is good. If you got one that had bad lube in there, you'll sometimes find a whole bunch of little bronze shavings in the bottom. It's not a good thing to have. Play somewhat clean here for Rich. Invite me back next year, maybe. Okay. Then with a little, I use a night a uh, dental pick, but uh, I'm not sure even. Thought I brought everything I needed. Want. They've got two ceiling surfaces on them, and uh, I've had good luck with them. Although most of the blowers, I end up I just hang on for two or three years for you, but I've never had any problem with them leaking, and they seem to. And yeah, there's the 327 from Granger. Yeah, but uh, you can get O-ring. You can get.